In this video, we create an image from an existing VM in Azure. Hello everyone, my name is Travis and this is Seraltos. This video is about imaging VMs in Azure. The intent is a solution for Azure Virtual Desktop Session Host, but it will work with other Azure Windows VMs as well. Before we get started, please like, subscribe, and share with a friend. Share with all your friends. If you'd like to learn more about Azure Virtual Desktop, check out my course on udemy.com. Your support is appreciated. There are a couple of options for creating an image in Azure. I have a whole series on Image Builder. Check that out if you want to do heavy automation. But maybe that's a little too automated, or you have applications that can't be installed with PowerShell. The solution we go over in this video is a little more hands-on, but common. Building a source computer then using that source to build your image. One common method for creating an image in Azure is to start with a source or reference computer that has all of the applications and settings applied. Then we run sysprep to generalize the computer and capture that as an image. From there, we build new VMs such as session hosts from that image. However, there's a problem with this method. When we capture the image, we destroy the source computer. What happens if we need to add an application or apply an update? we have to start from the beginning of building that source computer. The better option is to create a copy of the reference computer, then capture that so we don't destroy the original. That way, if we need to update the OS or add an application, we can just apply the change to the original, copy it, and create an image. That process is a little more complicated. To do it, we start with our reference computer, create a snapshot of the OS disk, create a new OS disk from that snapshot, build a new VM from that OS disk, then run sysprep, capture it to create the image, then save it to a resource group or add it to an Azure Compute Gallery if that's used. That's a lot of clicking if you do it through the portal. The script we're reviewing here is an attempt to automate these steps. We start with a reference computer, and once we run the script, it creates a snapshot of the OS disk, creates a new capture resource group used to hold artifacts created during the process, after that, it creates a new OS disk from the snapshot and builds a new VM from that OS disk. Once it's running, a custom script extension runs sysprep.exe to generalize the OS. Next, we capture the image. There's an option to copy that new image to the same resource group as the reference computer or add it to an Azure Compute Gallery. Once it's finished, all the artifacts are cleaned up by removing the resource group used for the capture process and then the snapshot, unless you specify to leave the snapshot in place. Before we dive into the script and run through the process, there's a couple things to know. First, think of this more as a framework than a finished product. For many, it will work just fine as is, but some of you may need to modify settings such as the image name or the version. You're welcome to modify this as needed. It could also be modified to run as an Azure Automation Runbook if you want to automate the process. Also, sysprep can be finicky. The reference computer has to have all of the updates applied or auto updates disabled. Outstanding updates will cause sysprep to fail. Also, there can be some issues with Microsoft Store apps and sysprep. I have a link to information below. The best way to identify what's causing the issue is to log into the machine that failed sysprep, the capture computer, and look at the sysprep logs. Let's jump into VS Code and look at the script. Here we are in VS Code. The script starts with a synopsis and a description. Notice it requires the AZ or Azure module, and you need to log into your subscription with rights to create objects in Azure. After that is the descriptions for the parameters. Under notes, be sure to test the script before you trust it. I ran through a couple different scenarios with generation one and generation two hardware, but my testing is small scale. At the end are a couple examples one that puts the image into the reference computer resource group, and one that places the image into an Azure Compute Gallery or Image Gallery as it used to be called. Here we have parameters. Notice the custom script extension URI. I suggest you copy the actual script to your own location and update the link. I don't plan to remove it, but just in case I quit paying my GitHub bill, you should have your own copy. The first step, test the Azure Compute Gallery if that option was selected. This is an input validation before the rest of the script runs. Notice I have everything in a try catch block. That's an error handling method, so if there's a problem, you'll be able to identify what stage of the script had the issue. 
Next, we get the date. The date's used in a couple spots, including the image name. If you need to change the format, that's fine. Using the date was a way to keep it unique and increment from previous instances. Same with the image version. That's used if the image goes to the Azure Image Gallery. Again, it increments from the previous version using the date. You can update it as you see fit, but it does have to be in the two dots major minor patch format, like what you see on the screen. Finally, breaking change warnings are suppressed and it gets the location based on the reference computer's resource group. The script assumes all resources are in the same region and subscription. Once all the parameters and variables are set, the script will run. It starts by creating a snapshot. Next, it creates a resource group for the capture artifacts. This resource group is deleted at the end of the script if it completes without any errors. If there is an error, you will need to remove the resource group and the snapshot manually. Next, it creates the VM by first creating the manage disk from the OS snapshot. Then it creates a VNet and a network security group. The network is isolated and only used by that single VM. Then it creates the public IP address and the NIC. The public IP and network security groups are not required for the script to run. You could comment them out. However, it may be necessary to log into the capture VM if something fails. I ran into a couple issues with sysprep along the way. Either I forgot to update the OS, or sometimes sysprep doesn't like it when you add or remove AppX packages. The only way to identify the error was to log in and go through the sysprep logs. If sysprep is failing, it's not an issue with the script. The problem is with sysprep and the VM. And then the VM is created and started. Next, the custom script extension is used to sysprep the VM. The first step is to check to make sure that the VM is available and in the VM running state. It will wait for five minutes and exit the script if the VM isn't ready. That would indicate an error with the VM build. Next is the custom script extension. This is another PowerShell script that's downloaded and ran on the VM. The script has to be publicly available. Let's take a look at it. It starts with a description and disclaimer. I added a logging function that will write any errors to a log file on the local C drive. After that, it starts the sysprep process with the arguments on the screen. If the image is billed and applied to a different hardware type, remove the mode colon VM switch. That switch prevents hardware scans at the first boot. Let's go back to the snap image script. If the script hangs while running the sysprep custom script extension, odds are the sysprep failed. If that happens, the capture VM is probably still running. Cancel the script and log into the captured VM. Verify there's no updates pending and take a look at the sysprep logs for an error. Once you find the problem, you'll have to remove the resource group and snapshot and try it again. Hopefully we can avoid any of those issues. After it's sysprep, the image is captured. First, it validates sysprep finished and the VM is in the stopped state. Then it deallocates the VM and sets it to generalized. After that, the VM is captured and the image is created. There are two options. If the Azure Compute Gallery is used, the image goes to the temporary capture resource group where it will be added to the Azure Compute Gallery, then deleted with the resource group. If the Azure Compute Gallery is not used, it goes to the source or reference VM resource group. The next step adds the image to the Compute Gallery, if that option is selected. You could add the options to this command to replicate the image to different regions. Keep in mind if you do that, the script will take longer to finish. After that, the temporary capture resource group that was created for the artifacts is removed and the snapshot is removed, unless you set the option not to delete the snapshot. Let's see it in action. Be sure you're logged into Azure and in the correct subscription. The minimum we need is the reference computer name and resource group. This command will create an image built off the VM specified and then add that image to the VM's resource group. We can also set the option to add the image to uh, Azure Compute Gallery. The gallery and image definition has to be in place. It also has to be in the same region and set to the same generation of hardware, either Gen 1 or Gen 2. Let's add the Azure Compute Gallery details next. Once we run the script, it will work through the process outlined earlier.
the steps it's taking along the way are outlined on the screen. We can see what's going on if we go into the portal. Here's the source or reference computers resource group, and you can see we have the snapshot. Let's go to the capture resource group. Here we are in the capture resource group, and you can see it's building out those artifacts needed to create that image. Let's go back to the script. There will be a couple delays as it's building resources. I'm gonna pause here and come back once it's finished. Okay, I got through most of the steps. You can see it ran sysprep. Sysprep takes a couple minutes to run and shuts down the VM once it's finished. There's a step that verifies it's shut down before it moves on. From there, it'll save the image to a resource group, either the source or reference resource group if it's not added to an Azure Compute Gallery, or in the case of this example, it stores it with the capture resource group. Once the image process is finished, it adds it to an Azure Compute Gallery. And if we go over to the resource group, this is the capture resource group, and notice the image is there. And if we go to the Azure Compute Gallery, here it shows our new image is getting created. Once it's finished, that capture or temporary resource group will be deleted, as well as the snapshot, unless it's specified not to delete the snapshot in the command. That's how the script works. That does it. I hope this helps you create updated image more efficiently. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.